Hey, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Latest video I released was on the FV4005 where I asked the question, is that tank now broken? Because in my opinion, it's a bit of a beastie of a tank. Now another tank that got some balance changes was that of the AMX50B. Now okay, it's a heavy tank, unlike the FV which is a TD, but I always found that the tanks are kind of comparable and I used to play the FV quite similar to how I played the 50B. Now I've always loved the 50B, I think it's a fantastic tank and in the right hands it's an absolute monster. But have Wargaming sort of dropped a doo-doo on this one because this ain't the same tank. Now let's have a look at the changes first. So this is the 50B's changes. And as you can see there, dispersion has increased, aim time has increased, armor thickness has been decreased, the damage to the standard shell has been decreased, reload time has been increased, and number of shells obviously has been increased. So they're all effectively nerfs. There's no buff in there. There's no little tinkering to make the tank slightly better. It's realistically all a nerf. I mean, the dispersion just adds to the accuracy over time over distance sorry the aiming time well that also adds to accuracy armor thickness means that it's going to be easier to pen damage to the standard shell means it's going to be harder for you to pen and the reload time of the magazine means you really can't be on the front line now let's have a look in comparison to the fv so the fv got the number of shells also increased reload time into shell that's the interclip will be decreased that means they're faster loading between the four of them Reverse speed decrease, so so far it's had a buff and a nerf. Damage will be eight, will be decreased by 50, which is a bigger nerf than that of the FV. Reload time will be increased by 3.9. Now that is a nerf, but, 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 it's a lot shorter than that of the AMX. And the penetration value of the standard shell will be increased, whereas it was not touched. Penetration wasn't touched on the 50B. So the comparisons are not the best. Now that's not to say that the 50B is a terrible tank. It's just not the tank it used to be. And it's certainly not in the same vein anymore as the FV4005. You, it's got similar play styles now to an extent, and I'll get to that in a moment. But this just isn't the same type of tank. Now let's have a look at its stats, okay? Not the changes, but the stats side by side. You can see here, the DPM of the FV is now 3.3, okay, that's big, whereas the 50B is 2.7. The reload time is 21 and a half seconds, well, almost 22 seconds for the FV. It's almost 24 seconds for the AMX. They both got four shells. Reload time of the shells is 2.5 seconds, whereas for the AMX, it's three seconds. I mean, that makes a big thing. That's a big difference, guys. Penetration, wow, you've got the 305 penetration on the FV, 257 on the AMX, not the best. Armor piercing, 388 on the AMX, 340. HE, 72 on the FV, 65 on the AMX. Damage output on the AMX, it's only 380. On the FV, it's 410. Armor piercing, 350. High explosives, 500. The HE, to be fair, on the AMX is still 500. But, but for all intents and purposes, the AMX now is a former tank. Now look, I did 3.1K there. And to be honest with you, the AMX has always been capable of dishing out over 2.5K regardless, but it was still a loss, but that's beside the point. So what has been going on here? What is behind Wargaming's thinking? Well, if the truth be known, I think Wargaming have messed up slightly here. I think they failed to take into account the consumables and equipments and the provisions on the FV4005. Now, the FV, for example, has that sort of interclip reload boost. It also has the speed boost consumable, the super duper consumable, and it has things like reticle calibration. The 50B doesn't have any of that. So by not having those consumables, equipment slots and provisions, the FV, sorry, the 50B has benefited more than the 50B 
to the point whereby the 50B, in my honest opinion here, has been relegated to a role that it was never meant to do, that of either a second line support or, or a TD, because I've had more success playing the 50B since the changes as a TD, where I've had more success as an FV playing it like a 50B. I mean, it's just bizarre. The, the damage output on the 50B has been reduced. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this tank has been nerfed too far. And that's a shame because the FV, as I said in my video, I think has been buffed too far. The FV is now an absolute beast where this tank is now a little bit meh. It's not the same tank. It's lost some of its shine. Now look, that's not to say you still can't go out and have some good games in it because you can. But the playstyle of the 50B is completely different to how it used to be. This is not the dominating monster that it once was. Now it's been relegated. It really has been relegated to sit at the back of the bus type tank. And that's a shame because it's a beautiful tank. So was this the intention of wargaming? Well, I don't think it was. And I think they've sort of got themselves into a bit of a tiz was over this. And as I said, I think, and I said this in the FV video, they've, they've, they've given the FV the things that the AMX should have had, and they've given the AMX the things that the FV should have had, if the truth be known. Now, if they were to change those things around, then maybe, just maybe, the AMX 50B will come back to its you know normal state. But I don't think they're gonna do that. So what can be done with the 50B? Because now it's, it's, it's actually, not an easy tank to play and it's not as intimidating as it once was i'm not a fan of giving consumables and provisions to a tank to sort of patch over a buff or a nerf i mean i, I don't agree with it i think it's a, it's a it's a sort of sloppy way to do things but let's be honest the 50b could really do with some of those consumables and or provisions because it really does need them. Now, I mean, that wasn't a bad game, but we're struggling to knock out 2K, and it was an okay game. But the thing is, in the next game, we, we, we're gonna do slightly better. Now, that's not to say that you can't do well in this tank, because you still can. The thing is, as I said, to do well in this tank now, you have to change the way the tank plays. And I've had more success playing this tank as either a sort of sit in the back TD type thing, like a bit of a sniper, or as a second line support tank. Now in this game on Desert Sand, I just said to the team, look, they've got predominantly medium, so we need to push the desert. I've taken a shed load of pain before getting here. And that interclip reload is just too long. Three seconds is a long time. When you compare it to the FV, which is two and a half seconds, that half a second makes a huge difference. Not only that, I don't have that special consumable to speed it up. So I'm, I'm really struggling to, you know, stay on target. And with the reduced aim time, I, you know, the aim time now is, is a lot worse. You can't just poke and shoot anymore because the dispersion has changed. The aim time has changed. Everything's changed in that respect, unlike on the FV. This makes the tank a lot harder. Oh look, somebody wants me reported. Don't worry, little man, we're gonna carry your backside. Don't worry. Um, and this is the thing about the tank, it's not the tank it once was. Now, have they killed it beyond recognition? Well, I don't, I don't think it's been killed beyond all recognition. I don't think it's a tank that's now suddenly unplayable. But it is a tank that requires a sea change in the way you do play it. It's that straightforward. I mean, the guy in the Type 68 is still saying report me, despite the fact that we do go on and carry him, his sorry backside in this game. But hey, and not only that, I did tell him to push the desert. It was his fault for going that way. So what can be done with the AMX? Well, like I said, give it the same provisions and the same consumables that you've given to the FV. Something I don't like, to be honest with you. I don't like it, as I said, it's sort of, you know, you're putting a plaster over, over a gaping wound I'm, I'm still struggling to understand the balancing here because this one's been balanced completely the wrong way. It, it's, it's actually been nerfed. It's not been nerfed to oblivion. It's, as I said, it's still playable. You can still have good games in it, but 
it is by far a trickier tank. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you've got to remember the AMX-50B is a heavy. It is not a TD. This is meant to be a heavy tank. And with a 24 second reload between those magazines, you are being reduced to more of a TD type role. You do not have the armor to sit this thing on the front line effectively, especially now they've reduced it. You don't have the interclip reload. I mean, three seconds of reload is a long reload. And you don't have the penetration or the damage like you do with the FV. And that's a crying shame because to reduce a heavy tank to a role of, I don't know, third line support or even TD, sort of defeats the object. And, and that is unbalanced it the other way. And as I said with the FV, it was balanced too far in one direction, which again is not necessarily a bad thing. But for this one, the, F, the, the, the AMX, it's been balanced the opposite direction. Okay, we still churn out 4K. We still have a decent game. But it was a struggle. It wasn't easy. And don't get me wrong, I mean, tier 10 is not meant to be easy. And, you know, all those people who think it is, well, you're kidding yourselves. It's meant to be difficult. But this is a heavy tank. And heavy tanks are meant to do a heavy role. This isn't going to be able to do that role anymore. And that's a shame. Just out of interest, in case you were wondering, the Type 68 had like 6,000 battles and a 48% win rate. So I can understand why he was miffed at me. As I said in the FB video, that's the mantra of Blitz nowadays. Go the opposite direction, do the wrong strat, die first, and then blame everybody else. So yeah, it's just the way it works. Now, I have never put an AMX 50B in this position in my entire Blitz career. Never once. Now... I'm being forced to. And I don't like that. I don't like this style of AMX 50B gameplay. I'm a heavy, not a TD. I should not be sat in a TD position sniping. Not really. But Wargaming have forced me to do this style of play. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not enjoying it. Because I'm not really doing what a heavy tank is meant to be doing and that annoys me and I don't understand why Wargaming have gone this way and you know there we go you know you poke a little bit too soon and you just get smacked by everybody and lose half your hit points Again, not a glorious way to play and contrast that with this play style now on the FV4005 I mean that thing I showed in the video yesterday is absolutely a destroyer of tanks you know the FV has become deaf the destroyer of tanks whereas the AMX 50B has become a little little dormouse that likes to sit at the back and pretend it's a heavy tank it shouldn't be doing that it shouldn't be pretending it's a heavy tank it is a heavy tank and now it's reduced to the role of a TD what is going on with this world I personally think Wargaming really did mess up on this one. I think they gave the FV what they should have given the AMX and vice versa. They've turned the AMX into something it shouldn't be. And they've turned the FV into something that it also shouldn't be. And the only way to reverse that realistically and to address it is to give the AMX, as I said, these same consumables and provisions, something I don't agree with. But I feel sorry for the AMX, a tank I absolutely adore and a tank that is nothing like the tank it used to be. As I say, that doesn't mean to say you can no longer have fun in it, because you can, but it's not easy now. And you certainly can't play it like you used to. You can't play it like a dominating heavy, which used to be the case. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my take on the AMX 50B. Bless it. Uh, former, look at that, I'm mean, just bouncing that. And again, look. Why Wargaming? Why? Anyway, as I said, that's been the 50B. You've got to feel sorry for it. It's not been killed outright, but it has been nerfed slightly too much. It's not the same tank. And you are going to have to adjust your playstyle to get the best out of this. And it's an adjustment that I don't think warrants this tank. 
Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts on this, your views. Tell me what you think, because, you know, when I did the open test, I loved the 50B and I didn't like the FE, but I did say in the open test, things will, you know, settle down once you get into the games. And I found it's completely the opposite. I'm loving the FV, I'm not loving the 50B as much. But I'd like to know your thoughts, your views, your take on this. So that's what the comments are for, guys. You to comment and let us know. Anyway, until the next time, I've been Fujit. It's been the AMX 50B. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, guys. Having fun and being happy.